experiment. Let's see which are the chemicals which we are going to use in the experiment. This is ferrous ammonium sulfate crystals. This act as a reducing agent. And this is industrial wastewater. In this wastewater, you have to determine the COD. And this is silver sulfate and sulfuric acid mixture. Silver sulfate act as a catalyst. This act as a reducing agent. This act as catalyst. And this is potassium dichromate. This act as oxidizing agent. And this is indicator. That is ferroin indicator. Oxidation state of indicator is Fe2+. So next, let's start with the definition. Definition is chemical oxygen, de uh, oxygen demand. Definition goes like this. So amount of oxygen, this is wastewater, this is wastewater, amount of oxygen required to oxidize, so this is waste, this contains impurities, amount of oxygen required to break down the impurities present in sample using potassium dichromate. So this is, if this is impurities, so amount of oxygen required to break down the impurities, oxidation of the impurities present in sample using oxidizing agent. That is the definition of COD. So first let us start with the standardization. So you have to, you will be given with FAS crystals. You have to weigh in the weighing balance. Then you have to transfer it to uh, 250 ml standard flask. Just tap. Next you have to add two test tubes of sulfuric acid. Two test tubes. added to prevent hydrolysis of ferrous ammonium sulfate. If you forget to add FAS, you will get a turbid solution. You don't get a clear solution. It will be hard to titrate. So make sure that you add sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is added to prevent hydrolysis. Two steps sulfuric acid. Mercury. 
hydrochloric cell. But today this waste water is prepared in the lab. Each time mercury, you know that mercury is toxic. Each time you uh, do the nitration, you pour it to the sink. It is it is environmental pollution. But remember, this doesn't contain chloride ion, sewage water, waste water prepared in the lab. But the waste coming out of the industry, this usually contains chloride ions. Okay, but you can skip this step. No need to add mercury uh, sulfate. But mercury sulfate is added to remove chloride ions. So next step is add two test tubes of silver. Uh, add a test tube of silver sulfate and sulfuric acid mixture. So silver sulfate act as a catalyst. Silver sulfate act as a catalyst. Okay, add a test tube of silver sulfate and sulfuric acid mixture. Oxidation state of indicator is Fe2+. You can see the 
color of the indicator is red. Color of the indicator is red because oxidation state of iron is Fe2 plus. Oxidation state of iron is Fe2 plus. In this you have unreacted potassium dichromate that is oxidizing agent. So let me see what happens. Concentration of potassium dichromate is decreasing because you are adding reducing agent. The reducing agent is a substance which reduces other substance and oxidizes itself. Wherein you have to pipette out 25 ml of 
distilled water in place of in distilled waste water 25 ml of distilled water in place of in distilled waste water so this contains impurities yes this contains impurities it means part of the potassium dichromate will be utilized for the oxidation of impurities part will be remaining okay so this doesn't contain any impurities yes whatever potassium dichromate you add 10 ml potassium dichromate you add 10 ml will be remaining in the conical flask yes so fas consumed will be more fas consumed will be more because more volume of potassium dichromate is remaining in the conical so even in the exam blank tighter value will be given by the examiner no need to do you have to do only back back titration so hope you have understood guys thank you thanks for the time